somebody was asking me today about how to rise up spiritually. They didn't use those words, but that's what they were asking. Some pe sometimes people don't even know how to ask. They see something different in you where you're able to handle a bunch of stress or situations and and you don't buckle and they're looking at you like, how do you do it? You know, I've had, I've had people ask, how'd you make it through that? What do you mean? I mean, I had a say purse, so, so-called say purse. So how'd you make it through that? What do you mean, man? You just walk by faith. Every moment of every day is a faith walk. One day at a time. How did you make it through that? What do you mean? I got a third shift job and I, I did my stuff I need to do during the day for three years and then I was done. <clears throat> the more I look back, I see that that person was tied in to an ex, probably, and they were watching how I would handle it. They thought I would, they thought it would crush me or whatever they thought. And so I took a third shift job, became my own lawyer. I became my own lawyer and I fought the court battle. I go to court like once every two weeks or something for three years and I came out on top. And then after it was over, I went and got me a first shift, first shift job. But I learned my lesson that behind the scenes, there's people talking, people conspiring, people trying to kill, steal, destroy, steal, kill, and destroy. There's people behind the scene that might even be, quote, unquote, you think they're your friend, but they're actually your enemy, and they're the person that the Illuminati sent into your world to try to, to watch you and destroy you. You're targeted, you're targeted as a child. They watch you. I had no idea what I was going to talk about, but this is what I'm going to talk about. They target you even from a child. They can look at your name and know your calling. Your name is your calling. I had a preacher one time say something about, I don't know how they know, but they know if you're going to get saved. Well, I'm telling you how they know. Number one is the, the demonic realm knows that you're they, they test you as a child and they send you to a psychologist and get you to take these tests and all. Are you? They try to see if you're evil, you know? If you have a propensity towards evil when you're a child. Are you a goat or a sheep? They somehow know. I believe it's through the name. You can probably come up with other ways they know. Because you, if God is calling you, God is calling you, as one of his elect, it's going to start even when, it's, when you're born. You saw that in the Bible. John the Baptist, uh, David, uh, uh, Jeremiah, you saw it in the womb. God knew you in the womb. He has a script. It's all scripted. Anyway, so they have these agents they introduce into your life, right? And they're using uh, code words. And they're using words. And it, it might be a family member. It might be a parent. It might be an uncle or aunt or brother or sister or something. But you can tell when you after you get saved and after you're saved long enough and you kind of get away from them, you can tell that the words that they were using were curses. They were using curse words to curse you. And these curse words, if you call them out on it, especially if it's a, a parent or something, and they say, and you ask them, you say, why are you cursing? Why are you saying bad, bad words? You, you know, if you're a teenager, you might say, well, why are you saying these bad words? What's the, why? Well, they're just words. And then as you get older and you, you talk to them on the phone, and you take notes and everything they talk about is darkness and death and worry and the news 
and what's going on in the media and how they feel sick and they're tired and every conversation is about how sick they are or how how they'll say stuff they'll even say this is how extreme it can get it's a crazy world out there we just ought to shoot ourselves and you're like what'd you just say and then a month later they'll say so you see that crazy news it's crazy it makes you just want to shoot yourself it's like what'd you just say <clears throat> and you realize these are agents these are agents these are Illuminati agents sitting in the church even they sit on the church pew this is real but once you get a once you finally see and you even have one of them one of them said one time said why do you even talk to me so called friend and you realize yeah why am I talking to you because everything out of your mouth is corrupt everything out of your mouth is you might speak righteousness on one hand but then you you go into corrupt on the other hand it's like why would I even talk to you if a double minded man's unstable and all his way how can you speak this way and then the two minutes later speak this way how can you be talking about a bible verse and then talking about revenge it don't add up double-minded man's unstable in all his ways and so they want to make you and this is what i said that the devil wants to make a copy of himself and maybe these people are under so much they have people that they're around that speak that way but they don't have enough intestinal fortitude to, to cut them off and get healthy and get healed maybe they're just not wanting to grow maybe they can't see because if you're if you're in an environment long enough that's unhealthy, you start to think that unhealthy environment is healthy when it's not. You understand what I'm saying? If if right under this, if right under here was a was a dead rat under here, and it started stinking, and I bought this car, and they sprayed it down, and. Uh, they got rid of the smell and the smell would come back and you would say what is that smell it's a dead animal underneath this underneath this piece of plastic here and you'd say what is that smell take it to the dealership they'd spray it down say we look we couldn't find nothing and then you'd crack your window you'd get you a little air fresher in here you get and like a ozone there's a is actually an ozone machine right here get you an ozone machine and you'd kind of mask it right but the smell's still there and then you finally just get used to the smell that's why when somebody walks up to you who's been smoking their their, their clothes their house their, their their car everything about them smells like a cigarette or a vape when the people get in the car and it's uh, they just been vaping they smell like a vape and i've told them i said you can smell that vape a mile away. And they say, oh, you can, you know I vape? Yeah, because you can smell it, man. You can smell it, woman, man, whoever, whatever you are. Nowadays, you don't even know what you're dealing with nowadays. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's how bad this place is. That's what I'm saying. If you don't take that word, you're in, a, you're in an abusive reality down here. If you don't take the word and separate and isolate sometimes and hang out with some some real serious believers, you're going to be, you're going to, it's just like that rat that's dead under here. You're going to be thinking that's normal when it's not. And then you get away from it for a week or a month or two years and you say, oh, this is what, it, this is what a car is supposed to smell like. This is what a conversation is supposed to be this is what a life is supposed to be because you get around some people and they got the rock 92 or the or the rap music or the and they think that's normal the music they listen to they think is normal what's her name uh taylor swift or whatever they think she's normal but she's not
so these people that you're raised around or were born around, they're abnormal and they're brainwashing you to be abnormal, a copy. It's like I say, the culture program. And you got to get away from it for a while. Just like the greed. I got to have this nice car. I got to have this kind of house. I got to have this yard. I got to have this. And you see what happened when COVID hit. Everybody wanted something fancy. And everybody lost everything. I had to start over. What's my point? My point is, they start out when you're a child trying to trying to pull you in a spiral downward, but the Holy Spirit, once you get saved, is a, is a spiral upward. And it's just, and the, the speed of which it goes is how much you're willing to, to die to the old self. Because the more you die to the old self, the faster you rise up and see through this thing. 